Hello and welcome. I am the Scraptastic Crocheter and my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you have not, welcome. Um, I do a lot of crochet stuff and I love yarn and today I have bought some more yarn and uh, as you probably can tell it's from Hobby. Uh, I have already opened just for you know making sure that the, to not make too much noises but I want to share what I ordered and um, a little bit about the plans I have for the yarn I ordered also so I hope that you enjoy this and uh, let's go into the bag so I'm gonna move it to the side uh, that far I think I can move it without it falling off and just put my hand in here okay so first we have Amigo XL I hope the lighting is good oh let's see that, um, I'm sitting you know what I'm gonna move it like that I'm sitting next to the window so there is direct sunlight here the sun is shining um, but hopefully you'll get to see the colors um, as good as possible and uh, here we have Amigo XL in color 8 it's 100% um, acrylic yarn and I have uh, shown this one before here on my channel and the reason I did order this uh, as well as another yarn that I will com um, combine is I did um, a winter hat for my son and he lost it at school and he wants it to be replaced so I ordered the yarn and guess what he found the hat so now I'm still gonna make some extras because he really loved it and um, just in case but yeah so that's going for that so I'm gonna put my hand in and oh another yarn tweed dreams this is like the softest acrylic like this acrylic is soft but this is so much softer it's buttery soft uh, also 100% acrylic and color 16 it's a pink with purple and another type of pink speckles uh, and they're dyed into the yarn so it's not like a normal tweed where you'd have lumps of different types of material it's uh, dyed in uh, so the yarn is smooth there's no lumps they just get this really nice effect and I could work with this yarn all day it's buttery soft um, the only downside to it for me is that they don't have this one in um, just plain colors they're all like this speckled so if you want to do something with a just one single color uh, you have to look for something else and I do believe that there should be something similar to it I just haven't ordered all of Hobby stuff yet so I don't know what would be the equi equivalent in a solid color um, but I'm working my way through the the yarn oh and also I purchased this yarn myself this is not sponsored <laughs> I didn't say that but yeah not sponsored my own purchase so I'm putting that to the side I'm putting my hand in the bag for yes this is the the yarn I'm combining with the gray for my son's hat uh, and I got a skein of this exact color it's the color 25 in uh, an acrylic mystery bag that I purchased I want to say early spring this year and I only had that one skein and I didn't know what to do with it so I combined it with the gray and made the hat and since it's so well loved I just had to get it and yeah it's just so soft no weird smells or anything just clean yarn so soft like yeah, I can sit here squishing it all day it's just lovely so what do we have next ah! <laughs> Another Tweed Dreams! Who could have guessed? Um, this time we have color 17. We have 
uh, a lavender lilac type of color with darker purple and almost like a mm, dark blue navy blue maybe uh, in that I think that's I yeah the green only has darker greens it's the poppy green uh, or like popping neon green and this almost emerald type green color so the pink and the purple or lilac have two different colors of the specks but the, the green don't so let's see another one I'm just gonna put my hand in and put because I do have uh, yeah, I did get extra of these so I can make an extra hat just in case because it was so loved and uh, I don't want to just like order yarn whenever the hat goes missing again. So <laughs> I didn't expect it to turn up, but he did find it. So I'm not sad about that. Um, okay, so I know exactly what I have here. I just, what do I want to pull out first? This one. I have some Universe, the regular one, not the XL one. This is uh, the really light, super fine number one. Uh, and this color is 26 and it's called Regal the Star. And it's so gorgeous. I am just loving the purples and the mints and yeah it's just gorgeous this minty green and pink purples and I think that it's hard to tell but I think that the sparkle thread is either is it silver or blue uh, I think it's silver but it's reflecting off of the other colors a little bit or maybe it is blue because in the universe series uh, all the acrylic yarns has 90% acrylic and 2% polyester and the polyester is the metallic thread but it is usually a color that complements the other colors so it's not like all of them have a gold thread or all of them has a silver thread there's ones with pinks, golds, um, and I, yeah, I'm thinking this one's blue. It really looks gorgeous. So I have that one, and guess what? Here's another one. And another one. Where'd you go? Over there. And here's another one. So we have four Regal, and as you can see, they all look a bit different. This one has a lot of green in the center and this has like more purple centers. It's the same yarn. It's only, you know, how they're wound up. Uh, and as you also can tell, there's yarn ends in both ends. Usually that's because the yarn end, I believe one of them is from the outside. I think here on this one, this purple uh, is belongs to the outside, yeah. They just popped it back in because uh, it was all over the place. And then the other side is center pull. Um, so usually one is for, yeah, that's the one for the uh, outside. And this one belongs to the inside. So they only pop it in so that you can start either from the inside or the outside, which I think is really nice. Here you can tell this is from the inside. Uh, and this one belongs to the outside. And they run it underneath the ball band, so it's really handy. This one, I believe this is only the, uh, the inside one, and the outside is somewhere to be found. So, that's really nice. I really love it. I, this is probably my most favorite color of the universe. I just haven't gotten to purchase them before now. Now I have them, and I love them, and I'm not really... I, I was thinking about a poncho, maybe, or, yeah, because I have a lot, so it goes a, 
a long way. <laughs> so, what else do we have? I'm just now creating shadows. Let's put them down here instead. I want you to have the best lighting, not to cover everything. So, here in the bag, we have a candy. And I also, uh, I haven't before, but I started this uh, Hobie Plus membership. So I got a free gift of some wool needles, which is nice. And I'm not sure what I think about Hobie Plus yet, because I've yet to like start figuring out. But there was a bunch of patterns that I have been interested in the plus section. So basically I purchased, well, you know, the membership fee. And um, that covered a bunch of the patterns that I was interested in. So I basically already got my money back or the money's worth. I have one more thing here to show. And you have seen this before because I just had to get one more. I already have this one, but I needed more. Like this was the favorite of the Halloween colors. And after seeing it and, you know, having it here, I just had to have one more. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but since I have two, I can make a bigger project. Or I'm just going to make a shawl out of one and then just drool at the other one. <laughs> that might happen. Yeah, that might actually happen because they are so gorgeous. Like, look at these colors. Aren't they just stunning? Yeah. I I needed this Halloween. It's the Dahlia Halloween 100% cotton. So, this is what I got. I'm just going to pop one of each color to not... Oh, I didn't mean to knock you down there. And let's see here. Can we squeeze them all in? Oh, I might not have said uh, these... These ones, I'm thinking about making a hat for my daughter since I have this for my son. So that's that was the plan. My yeah, the original plan. But I don't know. I might make something else, a scarf, slippers, or anything really. I've been making some fingerless gloves um, recently, but I will show you that in another video because yeah, uh, I haven't been uploading as much as I wanted to lately and this yarn haul just like I need to show it to you before I start making something out of it it did come yesterday <laughs> and I was like I want to start working with this yarn no I need to record first when I open and you know because I want to share with you what I got and um, it's not as easy to do that when I've already like done a project with them but as you might be able to tell, like I, I have been fighting off another cold. Yeah, I cough and I sneeze and yeah, my, my throat has been really sore. I have been here, like I, I think it was about a week or so that I didn't have a voice at all. And now I started to get my voice back, but it's a bit raspy and it's sore and I cough and uh, yeah just not the time to record videos so that means i have had a lot of time to get more projects done which means i have a lot to show you in the near future i just need to sit down and record that and oh i'm i'm just gonna give you a little hint here i have never blocked before but i have currently something being blocked and i'm gonna show you that not the whole process, but I will show you um, that I have, like, what it looks like and how I did it. And yeah. So that's going to be fun. And uh, I will probably put a lot of pictures up on my Instagram. So if you want to see sneak peeks before I actually get some videos up, then I suggest you go over to my Instagram and just take a look. And because, yeah. Stuff happens there in between my videos. Uh, I have recently started to get a little bit better at posting on Instagram as well. Um, I, yeah. I've never really been, like, 
that good at social media. I'm just 100% into crocheting and I just want to share with someone, you know. I, I love yarn and I love crocheting and I love all of, all of it, you know. And it's really nice to have someone to share it with, to talk to about yarn and to share the love for yarn, crochet, patterns. Oh my god, I have so many patterns that I've been working and it's just a never-ending story in my head with patterns I want to do. It's to the point where I don't have time to make my own patterns because there's so many other patterns that's so gorgeous that I want to do. And hopefully that will give me inspiration and time and also skills to develop my own techniques better to actually create more patterns because yeah I'm not that good at it not as good as I wish I was so it's totally okay to do other people's patterns because that's also a really fun way to express your art you know um, yeah it's just so lovely with these yarns. I like, I. Squishy goodness. Oh my god. Which is this. Which, which here is your favorite? Like, seriously. Can you pick a favorite? Because right now I'm torn between these two color wise. But these ones for the squishiness. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the Amigo might not be the, like the most fun. If you're going to pick a favorite, like a gray, plain, <laughs> boring acrylic. I guess he feels a bit left out here in the colory glitteries. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thank you very much if you have stayed through this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, then if you want to see more of my yarn hauls, my crochet, and just my random gam. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even talk. My random just rambling about yarn and everything about crocheting you're most welcome to push the subscribe button and maybe even the notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload again and um, leave a like maybe a comment favorite yarn what would you do if you had this yarn does it bring you any ideas like what would you do is it sparking joy maybe Oh, yeah, but have a great rest of your day, and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you, and bye-bye.